All right, guys. So I decided to go along with uh, these uh, white and gray dice that I got just recently, and I'm. Uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, customize them. In what way? First and foremost, I'm gonna paint the numbers black because they're more light than dark. So I think the black's gonna look nice, and it's really gonna give it that rocky, stony look that I'm that I'm looking for. Now, thanks to the magic of video editing, I prepared my painting kit. I'm gonna start by painting the numbers first. As I said, they're gonna be black. Yeah, I know it's messy. <laughs> Don't look at me. But um, it has a simple solution. This. The thing with these particular numbers is that um, the color inside them is um, glossy. It's gonna be hard to paint over it for some reason. But nonetheless, I'm gonna try and carry on because I think I just might succeed. Yep, doing good. But I think that it's gonna need some two or three coatings of paint. And I'm gonna do it nonetheless. You can do this as well, you know, you just need some acrylic paint, a fine brush, some kitchen paper, you know, to wipe off the mess <laughs> that you make, just as I do. Now I'm thinking to leave the 20 gold, keep it as it is, I just might uh, repaint it with uh, the gold color that I have. The one is on a very dark area. I just might take some chainmail color and paint it silvery, metallic. Tell me in the comments, how do you like this customization process? The first time I did it with my, my old dice, I was somehow satisfied <laughs> in a very weird way because something that I already had, I made more of my own and that gave me a, a strange satisfaction. I'm gonna go and turn off the camera now, finish off with uh, with this. I'm gonna finish off the rest of the dice as well. And I'm gonna be back with a fully painted dice set. Take a 800 grit sandpaper and sand it in order to get the matte stone look. This is too polished. <laughs> All right, now I'm finishing up the last details on these dice. And the thing is that I realized that when I thin the paint a little bit, it covers the corners of the grooves much better. And now I'm, I'm trying to find where there are still little golden underlayers visible. Now, let's get on with the sanding. Let's start with the six-sided die. Hmm. It's gonna need some extra sanding. But I think it's gonna turn out to be quite good. Yeah, looks okay. The numbers, they're not perfect as well, so there is still some shiny spots right by the edges next to the grooves, but I'm gonna keep on sanding it and, uh, you know, see where it takes me until I get it done. So, 
a whole sheet of sandpaper later. I'm finally done. You can see this. It used to be sandpaper, now it's just paper. Which should be my next project? Number one, number two, number three or number four? Tell me in the comments below and the final reveal. <laughs> what do you guys think? Just look at this. Look how it turned out. The one on the dark surface, the golden 20 on, on the light surface. They feel so comfy to the touch. The surface got kind of, uh, I don't know, like a velvet or something. Tell me in the comments down below what do you think. I would appreciate a thumbs up if you like what I did and a subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I'll see you next time.